So the blind tag team tournament they plugged last week is a lethal lottery. They're drawing names from a hopper and uh, assigning, assigning these men as tag teams. We had Tony Schiavone and RJ Brewer. They draw a name and say, oh, look at that. And they draw a name and say, oh, look at that. And we all just move on. This is paid off later. But that was so annoying. That was a bad drawing. I wouldn't even say it was annoying. It was like hilariously, it was ridiculous. It was absolutely preposterous to cut backstage for a drawing and then draw two names and then not tell us the two names. Yeah. That was so wacky. And yeah, they, they did explain who the two names were later, but it was only because something happened. And then it was like... Okay, well, it wasn't that big a secret if you're just going to tell these guys they're partners now. Yeah, like, why I don't the know. fuck did you not tell them earlier? Like, why did it have to be a secret earlier? But as soon as they were arguing back and forth, it was like, well, I just can't contain myself right now. I got to review these two names. And here's the other thing everyone's going, yeah, it was explained later. Okay, it was explained later. Well, you know, anybody who's arguing that, well, it was explained later, I mean, that's exactly like when you do a, a, a raw show. And, you know, the show opens, and in, you know, first hour or whatever, top of the second hour, they announce a main event for the show. So, yeah, when the show opened, they had no main event, but you wouldn't go, well, it was explained later. Well, yeah, it was, but it was ridiculous that in storyline, you booked a Monday Night Raw with no main event, okay? So, forget what happened with MJF and Cole. In storyline, why are they drawing a name out of a hat on national television, two names out of a tumbler, but not telling you who they are in storyline why would that happen there is no explanation for it let's see the elite are doing a promo they know that the blackpool combat club knows that kenny omega already has a match on forbidden door so this five on five match right now is five on three they only have the bucks and hangman but they have friends all over and they bring in eddie kingston who clarifies things he is in fact not friends with hangman of the bucks he doesn't like them he doesn't respect them but he hates Claudio Castagnoli more than he hates them. But if he's going to team with them, he wants to pick the fifth person. And it's someone else he doesn't like, but he respects him. Adam Cole does a promo. I didn't beat MJF. He didn't beat me either. I know MJF tends to run his mouth for too long, so let's get him out here and get this settled. I laughed at that. So Adam wants a rematch, of course. And MGF says, the old Adam Cole is back, baby. I dragged him out of you. You're welcome. I know you've suffered a lot of blows to the head. You've lost track of time last week. For your own well-being, there will be no rematch. Cole threatens to whip his ass right now when they are interrupted by Tony Schiavone. And much to the shock of everyone, including especially Adam Cole and MGF, they do have a common enemy. They both hate Tony Schiavone. They have one thing in common. This may be enough to make them function as a team. Speaking of which, Shivani's news is they are the first team in this blind tag team tournament. Adam Cole is outraged that you have a team with this guy he hates. MGF is outraged to have to wrestle every week. That made me laugh. They are fans, it. Fans chant, hug it out. Yeah, they didn't want to hug it that out. That was not happening. They are interrupted by Hiroshi Tanahashi, who appears, appears on the big screen. Says, MJF, you're a coward. I dare you to show up at Forbidden Door so I can show you the strength of NJPW and the Ace. And MJF is about to say no, but Adam Cole, the master manipulator, says implies that MJF is a coward, implies that MJF thinks Tanahashi is better than him. And so finally, MJF accepts this challenge. I'll fight him on Sunday. And Adam Cole says, that's great news. Good luck, partner. And pats him on the shoulder and walks out. And MJF has the, I have made a huge mistake look on his face. Well, yeah, I mean, my only issue is, why is Adam Cole arranging for MGF to defend the title against something else? I thought the entire point of this promo was he wanted MGF to defend the title against him. And then he was gleeful to uh, get MGF signed. It's not just a match. It's a championship match. Like, MGF could go in and lose the title to Tanahashi. He's not gonna, but, I mean, in storyline. Sure. You know, he's he's uh, he got him to do a match with someone else, even though the whole point of coming out was... For him to get a match, with, for him to get a match well, with MJF. Well, Brian, in storyline, MJF is a coward who hates wrestling and wrestles as little as possible. So if, if uh, MJF is refusing to give Adam Cole a title match, maybe Hiroshi Tanahashi will be a fighting champion. And it might just be easier to get a title match against that guy 
They go through all this rigor rigmarole to pay Sam Jerry. Mm, that's an interesting, interesting theory right there. You know, the other thing that uh, as I watch this deal, you know, I I still cannot figure out why they never explained what the blind eliminator tournament was. They never explained it. We all presumed that it was going to be Battle Bowl. Pareja's increíbles, mm, to yeah. uh, not quote Mike Sempervivi. But uh, they never told us that. And literally, we only found out about it when they drew two random names out of the tumbler. And it's just surprising. It's like, why don't you just tell us what it is? Why don't you take the, the 10 seconds and just go, the Blind Eliminator Tournament will be incredible partners we're just gonna pull names out of a tumbler and everyone will be matched up when we pull out the names and we're gonna have a tournament and whoever wins is gonna get it it take 10 seconds but they never did it they never told us about it and in storyline i mean i don't even know if adam cole and mjf knew what the blind eliminator tournament was they were both shocked they were both saying they weren't gonna tag with each other and it's like well if you know what the blind eliminator tournament is i mean you should know that you're gonna have to team with whoever they right i don't know it's just there's a lot of things lately i i thought this was an excellent go home show and i thought that that uh collision was a great show but there's a lot of weird things that are going down in in aw lately that you know tony khan is a very very um detail oriented guy and so it's surprising when when just like little details are the way that they are and this was one of them like what the fuck is a blind eliminator why can't you tell us i mean it was a it was a week it was a week they never told us what a blind eliminator tournament was this plaque i'm still yeah. waiting for this stupid plaque yeah bischoff. paul and bischoff or who what in god's name is going on uh-oh who let you in here everybody's favorite come over here you can't even be seen what oh my god oh! Happy days here for Brian Alvarez. There it is. Presented oh, at that. F4W Online for passing 100,000 subscribers. Uh-huh. I want to give Oreo a hug. Come here, you big fat whale. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you to everybody hey. out there. Uh-oh. Hey! Uh what are you doing? Brian? Oreo? Hey, oh. I'm taking over the show. Oh, no. Dumb! Oreo. Hit that music, brother! Ah, the hell with it. You know what? It's Monday. It's dance party. No, 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 no. I love you guys! I love you! When can you have this much fun on a Monday on Wrestling Observer Live? I think we may have started something new here. I HATE THAT WHALE! If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of The Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, The Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.